makes me long for ethnic cleansing. It's a hate letter from a Cleveland Indians fan. It was sent to the website of the Cleveland Indian Professional Baseball Team. And their web administrator sent it on to, uh, to us in Cleveland, Bob Roca's organization. Makes me long for ethnic cleansing. Here on the second page, it says, here it is. It says, we should, the same fan, we should have exterminated your kind when we had the justice and the law on our side. Now it's too late. So we'll just have to let you, you sorry SOBs self-destruct. That's hate. When I sued, back in 1972, when I sued the Cleveland Indians baseball team, it's the only time in my existence as an activist I received hate mail. And I received hundreds of letters in those days with snail mail only. Hundreds of letters. People took the time to write me messages. Not as hateful as this, but damn near. It's unbelievable the things they told me. I mean, they, well, it is just as hateful because they told me who my mother is in no uncertain terms. They also told me, oh, horrendous things. Why? I ask, in a civilized society, allegedly, a sports team, a team that plays fantasy baseball, a kid's game, a bunch of adults who play a kid's game for money, how can that engender hate in America to the point of wanting us wiped off the face of the earth? This guy, this person, should be working for the Bureau of Anything. Or the White House, under either a Democrat or a Republican. That's why I recommend they go, that's where they could use this guy. I mean, does this smack of Hitlerism? Does this smack of, of civilization? What in the world? I mean, I've never attacked his home, and neither have any of my associates who long to be treated as human beings and want to get rid of cheap water. I've never done anything personal to this person. Why do you hate? That's, that's the question. I've been involved with the Chief of Wahoo issue since 1973, when I was originally a part of the lawsuit that was filed by Joe Meisner, um, Russell Means, Joe Meisner was the attorney, uh, Jerome Warcloud, uh, against the Cleveland Indians, and I can't remember who owned it at that time. A $35,000 lawsuit was filed um, to get the name and logo changed, and the struggle has continued. We've been fighting this this outrageous caricature of a proud race of people, living spirituality, um, that mocks our children, it mocks, of course, us, and it mocks their spirituality. And the red feather that is worn um, by the so-called Chief Wahoo um, is a part of a ceremonial feather that is given to our warriors who have shed their own blood in battle. And that might be the Gulf War, it could mean the Civil War, it could mean any of the wars. And it's, it's very spiritual, the, the eagle feather. The eagle represents the uh, messenger to the creator because it flies so high. And the eagle, of course, is revered. So it's a mockery of our own religion, our own spirituality. Everybody has to define religion, but our spirituality is a little different. And um, it, it hurts. It hurts to see children and, and adults running around at the uh, demonstrations uh, playing Indians. 
I said, y'all got to be a straight up moron, man, coming out here. What's up? Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Yeah, why is that? Are, getting, are they getting paid for this? No, no. We, oh. we we took time off from our work to come here to express ourselves. Are you serious? Yes. Why would you do that? Because we're not honored by it. Because we're Native Americans. We're not mascots. Are there, are there, My are children people, are aren't people, mascots. Are there people at Atlanta Braves games? Oh, absolutely. Are absolutely. There? Yeah, they get a little bit more feisty. They're fighting Irish. I don't but it's not about the Irish, it's about the Indians. We're talking about the Indians. We're here because of a logo, but, but you're not Indian. But you're not Indian. But you're not Indian. See, we're telling you that we're not honored. And what you would tell me, I would respect. If you told me that you wanted to be this and you wanted to be that, I'd respect it. I wouldn't say anything. But we're telling you that we're not honored because we're not mascots. We don't look like that. We're not characters. We're real people. So they want to make a That's That's fine, and I'd respect that. But we're not, and that's what we're telling you. Like a, and and uh, the CPM and the Dolan brothers are making right, the money right, off the so-called honoring. Let me ask you then, like, what what do you expect to get out of this? You're not going to change the team's name. Oh, it will name and change. Oh, it will change. It will change. What oh, we expect to do is that. Remember, mark my words. We, we, we expect to educate you. We expect to tell you with these signs. If you guys can read, then you'll understand yeah, we where we're coming from. It's a joke to everybody, and whether they want to admit it or not, you know. And people, people, if somebody else was up there, black, white, um, any culture, you know, it would be a different story. And whether or not they want to represent their people like that or not, you know, that's up to them. But we, we're choosing not to. We're trying to get rid of the Chief Wahoo and the fact that everybody that represents, um, you know, the American Indians that is trying to get rid of. This, this sign, this logo, um, the people that own Jacobs Field, uh, Dolan, they, you know, should consider that. And they all know that we don't want it. They know that it's disrespectful to us. And they still can continue to have it. And knowing that, having that knowledge of us um, not liking it, they, you know, they, they should just take it down. Because you know, their, their excuse majority of the time, it seems, is that, well, we're honoring it. We're honoring Chief Wahoo. Well, who is Chief Wahoo to them? 